good morning one and all yes sir uh, am i audible yes sir ah uh, okay shall you start the session okay. yes sir uh, okay in the previous class we discussed about uh, the methods to improve the efficiency of gas turbine cycle there are mainly three methods one is uh, intercooling we are having a two compressor and in case of reheating we are having two turbines rather than expanding uh, the gases in one uh, turbine we are going to expand in two turbines that is called as reheating and we are having third important method that is called as regeneration so as we know after uh, expanding the work in the turbine the gases discharge to the atmosphere they contain large amount of the heat they carry the large amount of heat along with them so in order to uh, utilize that heat content of the exhaust gases we are going for uh, the regeneration okay instead of discharging the exhaust gas to the atmosphere that uh, the exhaust gases is made to pass through the heat exchanger where Uh, those gases comes in contact with the gases coming out from the uh, compressor so that when these hot gases comes in contact with the whatever the air coming out from the compressor they interacts thereby heating the compressed air suppose you preheat the air so with that work amount uh, will be reduced and thereby increasing the efficiency of the uh, turbine okay now Uh, in this class we are going to discuss uh, the uh, jet propulsion cycle okay students sir please switch ah. off the annotations okay now i stop the annotation okay yes sir nobody can write on the board okay okay are you able to uh, see the content on the screen yes sir jet okay uh, that yes, jet sir, propulsion are you it. seeing see. are you seeing jet propulsion yes Oh. yeah sir okay okay uh, jet propulsion this is the uh, part of uh, module 2 so that jet propulsion so what is jet propulsion it is a propulsion of a particular body by discharge of fluid okay means uh, so it is a driving force forward of a body by means of a jet of gas or it may be jet of liquid and it is based upon newton's second law as well as third law okay so third law. As already we know uh, for uh, newton's third law for every action action there will be equal and uh, opposite reaction reaction okay a jet propulsion engine is a reaction engine that discharges a fast moving jet of fluid to generate the thrust in the opposite direction and to propel the aircraft in the forward direction okay so that it creates the thrust in the opposite direction to the movement of the aircraft okay and uh, thrust force that moves the body by in the forward direction using the propulsive device okay already uh, you might have uh, you know the working of uh, aircraft okay so that uh, it works on the principle of uh, newton's second law as well as newton's uh, third law of motion okay now what are the propulsive engine okay so that there are two category of 
propulsive engine one is air breathing jet engines and non air breathing jet engines okay here air breathing jet engines it uses the air as main fluid okay and it is limited to earth surface example our uh, aircraft uh, engine and uh, on the other hand we are having another category called as non air breathing jet engines okay so it does not uses the uh, air as main fluid rather than it uses uh, own propulsive fluid it may be solid liquid solid fluid or liquid fluid so that example is uh, is your rocket engine that is works beyond the earth's atmosphere and whatever we are having the air breathing jet engines that works within the earth's atmosphere example aircraft engines and non air breathing air aircraft engine does not uses the rock uh, does not uses the air as working fluid rather than we are having a particular fuel in that engine that is called as non air breathing uh, the engine okay that is rocket engine and uh, liquid oxygen mainly used as a fuel in the uh, rocket engine okay okay so in uh, air breathing engine uh, we, mainly we are going to study uh, these are the classification of air breathing jet engine okay so that once again uh, it is divided into three category uh, ic engine driven propulsive system ramming effect uh, uh, we are having ramjet engine and pulse jet engine gas turbine propulsive system so the gas turbine used to propel the system so we are having turbo jet engine turbo pop and turbo fan so in your course we are going to study uh, ramjet engine next uh, we are going to study turbo jet engine and then we are going to study turbo prop engine and turbo fan engine these are the air breathing jet propulsion system okay you have to concentrate on these four turbo jet turbo pop turbo fan and ramjet engine we are not going to study this pulse jet engine and uh, uh, the turbo jet with after burner okay after burner is a device which is located after the nozzle i'll tell okay so uh, con mainly concentrate on these four ramjet turbo jet turbo prop and turbo fan okay okay so this is the uh, ramjet engine okay so ramjet engine is once again the air breathing steady combustion or continuous uh, flow already you know the uh, steady process steady process is one in which uh, the parameters like pressure temperature density etc does not uh, changes with respect to time so that it is air breathing steady combustion process or continuous uh, flow uh, process engine means uh, the parameter will not change with respect to uh, with respect to the time so you go through these are the parts whenever they ask explain the working of ramjet engine so you have to draw this first diagram so i think you are observing this one we are having uh, different uh, uh, parts one is a uh, inlet and second one is a nozzle and this one is a exhaust and this is a combustion chamber and this is a, a fuel injection okay and this is the uh, compressor okay so these are the uh, parts of the uh, ramjet engine so one more part exist in the nozzle you are not coming across the nozzle in the turbine turbine uh, the mainly consisting of uh, uh, three parts one is the compressor and second one is combustion chamber and third one is turbine okay in case of uh, jet propulsion apart from this turbine we are having one additional device called as a nozzle okay already you know already studied a uh, nozzle uh, in the basic thermodynamics the main function of the nozzle is to increase the 
uh, velocity of the working fluid with the expense of the uh, pressure and it is neither uh, uh, power generating device nor power absorbing device whereas turbine is a power generating device and compressor what uh, it is showing here it is a power absorbing device okay and one more thing you should know that is one is a sonic flow and a second one is subsonic flow and third one is a super sonic uh, flow okay i think you are going to study all these uh, uh, flows in uh, fluid mechanics so there are three flows one is subsonic supersonic and uh, mm, uh, sonic supersonic and subsonic so when mach number is exactly one it is equals to one then we are calling it as a, a subsonic flow m uh, when m is greater than one that is called as a supersonic flow and n, when m is less than one that is called as a, a subsonic uh, flow okay and so ramjet is a air breathing steady flow combustion system it is the simplest of all air breathing engines as i said air breathing system is one in which the air is used as a working fluid like your open cycle uh, gas turbine plant okay and it consisting of supersonic and uh, subsonic uh, uh, diffusers okay so this part okay so what it, they have not mentioned this portion is called as diffuser portion okay so that it is called as a diffuser portion so that uh, diffuser uh, is uh, a device so, supersonic diffuser combustion chamber with a fuel injector and a, a discharge nozzle okay uh, combustion chamber means where combustion of the fuel takes place and fuel injector so where you come across fuel injector in case of compression ignition engine where we are having the fuel injectors okay and a discharge nozzle so it has no moving parts combustion occurs at subsonic speed of air flow already you know subsonic speed means when mach number is uh, less than 1 uh, okay okay so first i'll explain how this ramjet engine works okay actually in operation you see the cursor here in operation the atmospheric enters enters into this engine at low pressure uh, and uh, supersonic high speed into this area that is diffuser okay that is first it enters into the diffuser okay as it enters into the diffuser the main function of the diffuser is to increase the pressure okay so uh, first the atmospheric air enters into the engine the main function of the diffuser is to increase the pressure and also that supersonic is uh, reduced to low speed subsonic flow of air okay the whatever the speed of the air the entering into this uh, chamber so the as it enters into the diffuser the pressure increases and the speed decreases okay next the whatever this condition of the air is sufficient for the combustion of the fuel inside the combustion chamber okay so as i said the working principle is very similar to your uh, diesel engine where when the hot compressed air comes in contact with the fine particles of the fuel that then the combustion of the fuel takes place that is the same uh, process happens here okay here uh, the hot uh, compressed air comes in contact with the fuel next the combustion of the fuel takes place so this happens in uh, uh, the combustion uh, chamber okay then so after the combustion what happens to pressure the pressure and temperature increases so the pressure of the gases is further increased by the heat of the combustion okay so this is the compressor 
okay before entering into the compressor the air enters into the diffuser they, they are not shown the diffuser here then in the compressor the compression happens as the compression takes place the pressure uh, increases and this high pressurized air comes in contact with the particles of the fuel or uh, fuel then the combustion of the fuel takes place after the combustion uh, of the fuel so that uh, we are having the high temperature of the gases now these hot gases at high pressure so undergoes the nozzle you remember we are having a nozzle in the ram jet okay so that uh, what happens in case of nozzle okay as i said uh, the nozzle is a device which increases the velocity of the working fluid with the expense of uh, pressure here so after passing uh, through the combustion chamber the pressure uh, increases so this uh, high pressurized products of the combustion are taken inside the nozzle as it enters into the nozzle the pressure energy is converted into kinetic energy now whatever the high velocity jet of gases leaving the uh, nozzle provide the forward thrust to the engine here you see this is in opposite direction so that here it enters like this okay so this is the forward thrust provided by the nozzle and the jet moves in the opposite direction so this this works uh, on the principle of uh, where newton's uh, third law of motion okay so the very simple in construction it consisting of diffuser nozzle combustion chamber and then uh, we are having a mm, nozzle and then so the after this one the gases discharges to the uh, atmosphere these are the exhaust gases of the jet and here this is a combustion chamber we are having uh, the flame heater flame front and then the in nozzle everything they are not shown just you have to show the nozzle here and igniter is also placed uh, inside the nozzle and this is your uh, uh, compressor and this in this is your Uh, diffuser this is how uh, the construction of construction and working of uh, a ramjet engine okay the main advantages of uh, um, this ramjet is it is very simple uh, in construction and does not have the moving parts such as the next it is simple in construction having cheap and also no maintenance is required at very high speed and high altitude uh, the consumption of the fuel is less in as compared to turbojet engine it can be operated with any type of the liquid fuels and even with solid nuclear fuel this ramjet engine works okay and the disadvantage is that at low and moderate speed the fuel consumption is very high okay for high speeds it is good so it cannot be started on its own okay so it requires some uh, additional device uh, for starting of this engine that is one uh, disadvantage of uh, ramjet due to higher speed the combustion chamber requires flame holder to stabilize the uh, combustion we require a flame holder inside the combustion chamber due to high air speed okay so it is uh, Uh, suitable only for uh, high air speed not suitable for the moderate and the low uh, engine speeds okay this is the uh, working of uh, ramjet engine okay pulse jet engine is not there okay so next uh, you have to go through the turbojet engine okay every time they used to ask a uh, uh, turbojet engine okay so that uh, this is the construction and the uh, working of uh, a turbojet engine okay so turbojet engine is uh, once again air breathing system and gas turbine propulsive system okay so that uh, it is similar to your uh, gas turbine only so that it uh, works on the gas turbine propulsion system only you have to add the nozzle at the end of Uh, the open cycle gas turbine plant okay just you connect the nozzle to uh, uh, 
open cycle gas turbine plant okay so at the end of turbine we are going to add the nozzle okay it is very similar to your open cycle gas turbine plant just you analyze the open cycle gas turbine plant what are the components the one is a compressor and second one is your uh, uh, turbine so we are having the combustion chamber uh, in the turbine next uh, that combustion chamber is connected to turbine and that turbine is connected to a nozzle so after the gas turbine system just you have to add the nozzle uh, in the uh, open cycle gas turbine plant okay and once again the turbojet engine is a reaction turbine so that uh, now i'll explain uh, how this uh, um, turbojet engine very simple in construction just to you analyze the open cycle gas turbine plant that is uh, brayton uh, cycle okay now so you have to make down okay so that in case of uh, mm, yeah, open cycle gas turbine we are uh, always starting with uh, compressor but in case of turbojet engine so that uh, before passing uh, to the compressor the air first enters into a part called as a diffuser you remember so before compressor you have to show one part called as a diffuser okay so diffuser so that before entering into the compressor the air first enters into a part called as diffuser the main function of the diffuser is to slow down the air so that the atmospheric air velocity is equals to the velocity of uh, aircraft okay in order to make the velocity of aircraft and uh, the velocity of atmospheric air the air first enters into the diffuser and then from the diffuser so the air enters into the uh, compressor here they are shown a uh, two compressor one is low pressure compressor and a high pressure compressor you studied methods to improve the efficiency of a gas turbine plant so it is undergoing a two stage compression thereby reducing the work and thereby increasing the efficiency okay so first air enters into the diffuser and then so so as it enters into the diffuser so the aircraft velocity is equals to uh, the uh, the velocity of the air entering into the uh, compressor then it undergoes uh, the two stage compression that is low pressure and high pressure compression so after passing through this compression uh, the air enters into the uh, combustion chamber so here where the combustion of the fuel takes place as the combustion of the fuel takes place so that the pressure and temperature increases so this high pressurized air is taken to the nozzle as i said the main function of the nozzle is to increase the velocity with the expense of uh, pressure so that pressure energy is converted into kinetic energy why this uh, nozzle is required in turbojet engine means we should have the higher velocity uh, than only it can propel the turbojet in opposite direction so that uh, the nozzle is the most important part in the um, jet propulsion system so high pressurized um, uh, air the products of the combustion after passing through the combustion engine after performing the work enters into the nozzle thereby increasing the velocity of the uh, working fluid okay then so that this uh, high jet velocity of the products of the combustion so uh, creates a thrust in the forward direction and thereby propels the turbojet in the opposite direction okay this is the turbojet engine one of the important uh, uh, engine in the um, aircraft system that is jet propulsion system always they used to ask explain jet propulsion uh, turbojet with a sketch working of turbo very simple you have to show uh, this five parts that's it okay that is a uh, construction and working of uh, turbojet okay and uh, these are the 
few advantages of uh, turbojet engines and one point i mentioned i used to mention that so the aircraft traveling up to 800 to 890 km per hour uh, so this type of the uh, turbojet engines are useful okay and uh, one more uh, disadvantage of this turbojet engine is they are uh, having high cost and they are being noisy in the nature uh, noisy means uh, they will create lot of noise uh, due to uh, presence of the compressor okay so these are the uh, disadvantages high capital cost is required and turbojet is not economical uh, for short distance flights uh, it is useful for uh, large longer distance and then it becomes inefficient below a speed of 550 km per hour as i said the maximum range of traveling is 800 to 900 km per hour okay this is the second part and next we are having the another jet propulsion system is your turbo prop engine then what is the difference between your turbojet engine and uh, a turboprop engine is that we are having a part called as propeller hub or propeller which does not exist in the turbojet engine okay. so what is the function of this uh, propeller the propeller is mainly used to produce a thrust by changing the momentum of fluid around it okay so that we don't have uh, the propeller uh, this nozzle only creates the thrust in case of a turbojet engine whereas uh, this thrust is generated by the propeller hub in case of a turboprop this is the additional part in the uh, turboprop engine the main function of the propeller to produce a thrust by changing the momentum that is momentum is mass into velocity and uh, this propeller is connected to the uh, this part okay uh, turbines and compressor arrangement okay then we are having uh, the nozzle at the end you see uh, only you have to add the propeller hub once again so just to remember we are having a part called as diffuser uh, in the uh, turboprop they have not shown here turboprop diffuser means uh, to make the velocity of air is equals to uh, the velocity of uh, plane or turbojet engine okay the velocity of the engine should be equals to the velocity of air that is done uh, by diffuser once again in the simplest form it consisting of a propeller hub and then diffuser then we are having compressor after compressor we are having uh, this uh, chamber uh, combustion chamber then we are having the turbines and this nozzle is coupled to the uh, turbines okay and a common shaft is connected in between your compressor and turbine now i'll explain the working principle okay so that uh, first the atmospheric air enters into the diffuser they are not shown that is a part of uh, turboprop engine so as it enters uh, into the diffuser so the diffuser slow down the air speed and next gets compressed in the compressor what happens in the compressor once again uh, the pressure and temperature increases and that uh, high pressurized temperature uh, this one uh, gas then uh, enters into the combustion uh, chamber okay where the fuel air mixture is burns resulting in the high temperature okay the high pressure gas then enters into the gas turbine already you know the gas turbine is a power generating device okay where expansion of the fluid takes place okay next here you remember only a part of the power generated by the gas turbine is used to drive the compressor 
okay next whatever the remaining power generated that is used to propel the shaft so you observe here propeller hub is there so only a part of the uh, gas this one power generated by the turbine is used to drive the uh, a compressor and remaining part okay so is uh, used to uh, run the propeller hub next uh, uh, so after performing the work uh, uh, in the uh, turbine so then uh, the gases enters into the nozzles so what is the condition of the gases at the exit of the uh, turbine is that high pressure and uh, high temperature so next uh, we have to reduce uh, that pressure in the nozzle nozzle which uh, increases the velocity by utilizing the pressure energy with the decrease of pressure energy the nozzle increases the velocity whatever the thrust you remember here uh, the thrust is not generated by the nozzle rather here the thrust generated by the uh, propeller so that uh, whatever thrust pro uh, produced by the propeller uh, the uh, engine moves in the opposite direction okay remember it works on the uh, newton's third law of uh, motion just you remember that here propeller hub is there the working principle is same to uh, that of your turbojet uh, engine okay okay these are the advantages and disadvantages okay okay now i'll discuss one uh, application of non air breathing engine that is rocket engine so if the propeller unit contains its own oxygen supply for combustion process then system is called as non air breathing engine so they will ask in the exam uh, explain the working of uh, rocket engine okay so you can see uh the line diagram of uh, uh, rocket engine okay so it is having its own uh, chamber so inside 